Hey, what's up? Be Operation iDroid here, and in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to utilize URL schemes in GBA for iOS 2.0. And now, what these URL schemes allow you to do is open specific games in GBA for iOS without actually opening GBA for iOS. Now, these require a specific format. And you might want to pay attention because if you do this incorrectly, it won't work. So first off, you'll need to put GBA for iOS colon backslash backslash. And then you enter the name of your application. If it has a space, put percent 20. As you can see, I'm doing here with Pokemon Emerald. So I put Pokemon, it has a space, percent 20, Emerald. And this has to be named exactly how the, uh, the game is named in your GBA for iOS. And then you'll go ahead and press go. It'll ask you to open in GBA for iOS. Sometimes it doesn't ask you this. I don't know why it only asks sometimes. But when you press open or if it just takes you there automatically, it will automatically launch your game. And this is really cool because if there's any time that you're in Safari and you're just like, heck, I want to play some GBA for iOS and you want to get there as fast as possible, you can just use these URL schemes to jump straight into the game that you would like to play. But it's not that convenient to always go into Safari to open specific games and a lot of you guys aren't here for that. So I'm going to be showing you how to use these URL schemes to make separate applications on your iOS device to open a specific game. Alright so to actually get an application icon on your iOS device with a specific game you will need a computer and you will need to have an OS X operating system which is Macintosh computer. So unfortunately at the moment I don't know how to do this without a computer nor do I know how to do it with a Windows computer, but I will be researching that. Though I do have another method to do it without a computer, and we'll get into that later. But anyways, hop on your Mac if you have one, go into the App Store, and we're going to go into the Search tab, and we're going to search for the application called Apple Configurator. And it's like one of the first options right there. You can see it came out, so I'm going to go ahead and search for that. And then you're going to go ahead and install it. I'm going to click install. I'll be right back. Okay, when, it's, when done. it's done, it should be in your applications. I'm going to go ahead and open my applications folder and open the Apple Configurator application. It looks just like that. You guys saw it when you were installing it. And when it opens, it's going to give you a licensing agreement. Um, I'm just going to click agree. I didn't even read it. So if I'm bound to be a slave forever, I'm screwed. But anyways, once you get to the Apple Configurator, you're going to go to the bottom and there's a little circle that I cut off like an idiot, but it says prepare. Click on that right there at the bottom and you'll get to a screen like this. And now from this screen right here, you're going to go to profiles and you're going to click on install profiles. And once you click on install profiles, you need to connect your iOS device. And when you connect it, it'll go like this and allow you to go to next. And then we're going to create a new profile. And then there's a lot of profiles you can create, but the only one that we're interested in is the web clicks, the web clips that is here on the left of the tab bar. So you have to scroll to the bottom and then you're going to select the web clips. And what this will allow you to do is create the application that you want of a specific game on your home screen. So we're going to click on web clips, then click on configure and then in the label it says the name displays for this web clip this will be the name that is under the icon so you guys can call it whatever you like either um pokemon emerald whatever game you're doing but unfortunately i'm dumb and i started writing the url but you're supposed to write the url in the bottom tab so again how you write a url is gba for ios colon backslash backslash the name of your game if there's a space in the name of the game you got to put percent 20. As you can see, I now realized I put it in the wrong spot. And then I'm just going to go ahead and paste it here in the URL. And now I'm going to label this Pokemon Yellow. But note that the names under icons are small. So all that will be displayed now is Pokemon. As well as you can actually put an image as your application icon. I already have one for Pokemon Yellow. You can just go ahead and drag it on top of where the icon is or choose and browse your computer. Now, there's a couple of things that you want to switch off. So the first thing is that you do not want to have removable checked. Um, just go ahead and uncheck that. You do not want that there. As well as the pre-composed icon and full screen, just leave that unchecked as well. And you will be good. All you have to do now is save. And then we'll go into the next step. So once you click save, you're going to go ahead and click on the profile. Then go into next. And once you do that, it'll send the profile to your iOS device and then your iOS device will get the screen that you see on the screen. 
go ahead and click install and then once you click install the application will now be in your home screen so you can go home and as you can see it's there and this app this little app that's there will allow you to go directly into your game that you used in the URL scheme in the Apple configurator as you can see it'll say installed succeeded and you can go ahead and close that if you'd like all right so as you can see I now have the app that I made Pokemon yellow and if you click on it as you can see it'll open GBA for iOS and then directly open Pokemon yellow as I set it to so you can use this method with any game just make sure that you're using the URL scheme correctly and all that but this is extremely convenient Though I have one more method of using URL schemes and I think some of you guys might like it and it's using the popular application Launch Center Pro. You can find Launch Center Pro on the App Store just by searching Launch Center Pro. It's $4.99 so it might be a little steep for some of you guys but I'm going to be showing you how to use it anyways for those of you that do plan on getting it. So as you can see I just launched my game. Pokemon Blue version in color, which is actually a very fun game. I've been playing through it very often, but I'm going to be showing you how to set up this icon in Launch Center Pro. So, first of all, you want to open your Launch Center Pro application. At the top right, click the little pencil, which allows you to edit, and click on the plus sign anywhere. I have a separate section for my ROMs, so I'm going to go into my ROMs, click the plus sign, and then I'm going to name it to whatever I like. I'm going to be using Pokemon Emerald, so I'm going to name it Pokemon Emerald. In the URL, just going to do what we've been doing this whole video, GBA for iOS, colon, backslash, backslash, name of the application, if there's any spaces, then put the space. Remember that capitalization is important, so make sure you capitalize properly. And there we go. We have the URL scheme set up. You can add an icon, so I'm going to go ahead to the icon, click on photo, add photo, choose existing, go into my photo album and find the picture that I want to use as the application icon. And use this picture of Requaza right here or Requaza, however you guys uh, decide to pronounce it. And that seems about right. I like that. I can dig that. And I'm going to set it right there. You can also add a photo frame, but I'm not a fan of that. So I'm going to go back, click done, click done again. And now when I go into my ROMs, I'll have my Pokemon Emerald there. And I'm going to go ahead and slide up to Pokemon Emerald, click on it. If I have a game open, it's going to ask me there's a game currently running. I'm going to click start game. And it opens Pokemon Emerald. So those are all the different ways that you can use URL schemes to launch your app, your favorite games without actually opening GBA for iOS 2.0. It's a very great shortcut to use. I hope you guys utilize it as much as possible. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, then please subscribe and join the operation because I do a lot of cool stuff like this video and more. You can check out the other two on the screen if you'd like to see some more videos by clicking on them or following the link on the description. Anyways, I kind of feel bad showing you guys the Launch Center Pro tutorial when it's a very expensive application. So, I'm going to be giving two away. If you'd like to win a copy of Launch Center Pro, if you don't already have it, then leave a like and comment saying Launch Center Pro, and then I will be picking a winner in, let's say, seven days. So, seven days from the release of this video. All right, so to win, all you have to do is leave a like and comment Launch Center Pro. Hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you guys for subscribing and welcome to the operation.